Now, it's that time of the week again when we look at the latest business and management book titles. And I'm joined in the studio now by Alan Jordan, Sales Director of Book Buzz. Morning, Alan. Morning, Ian. Uh, this week, with the long Easter break, we've decided not to look at one title. We'll look at a couple of books you might want to read over the Easter. What have you got? Yeah, absolutely. And we've done a lot uh, over the first quarter of the year. Social media, marketing, innovation, HR, employee engagement. So we've picked out a couple, two. Um, maybe more dense reads, uh, and then two kind of light reads that will be, uh, will be, will be good to look maybe over the Easter. Let's just kick off with, uh, Brian Solace, um, business as usual. And this is in the whole area of, uh, similar to the thank you economy, zag, demand and marketing 3.0. And what he's arguing here is, well, we would know it anyway, is that technology development, it's, it's happening so quickly that businesses and consumers are finding it difficult to adapt. So his kind of premise is around it's an extreme form of digital Darwinism. Um, so as companies, you either adapt or die. Um, so uh, interesting. What I like about the, it is quite dense. It's just some of the stats in are quite, uh, quite staggering, particularly around the whole use of the net, so that yeah, you know, for eighty-one uh, percent of people in America are online before they are two years I old. Believe that. What, what is that? <laughs> well, I don't know. You must be sitting on someone's lap, and uh, you're using instead of using a video as a baby minder, you're now using the net. Um, the other interesting one is that you know seventy percent of people inform themselves online before they buy. Uh, two thirds of the buying process is driven by online review. So it's just, again, it's, it's another book really in a space that's quite crowded. There's a, it's packed with information. It's a little bit dense. So again, not, not, a, not a bad read. The second one I'm going to follow with, again, going into kind of the dense car, um, car, um, category is, um, thinking fast and slow, uh, Daniel Kahneman. Yeah, we discussed this earlier this year with, with uh, Ron, your colleague, and this is a fascinating book. This is the, the really the kind of the psychology type of end of economics. Yeah, absolutely. And if you like, it's in the same genre as kind of nudge, uh, black swan, blink, and uh, the tipping point. And just quickly, briefly to give you the, the premise behind the book, he talks about, uh, the way we work is having a system one and a system two. A system one is where we're, you know, intuitive. Everything happens. Our decisions are automatic, um, and we we combine that with system two, whereby it's more slow going and it requires more intellectual effort. And you would think that system two is well, oh, well, that makes a lot more sense. So we'll take more time to think things through. But no, 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 that it doesn't actually work out. And actually, in fact, as he describes in the book, he says Kahneman compares system two to supp- uh, supporting character who believes herself to be the lead actor and often has little idea of what's going on. So he is promoting that is intuition that really drives everything that we do. If you like, uh, if you're a Sherlock Holmes fan, you'll probably love this because the type of questions that I ask you are how many murders occur in the state of Michigan in one year? Is adultery more common among politicians or among physicians and lawyers? And it just gets into explain to you why you think the way you think and actually, in fact, even if you understand how you think, do you know what? Maybe that's not going to help you make better decisions. It's, it's a fascinating read. Is it, is it for somebody who probably picked up the tipping point and thought, oh, this is a good book, this is a, something I can really pick, it, pick up and take insight from, or is this a bit more heavier? It, do you know what, I, I find it very easy uh, to read, and it, it, it's a little bit more uh, in-depth, uh, because really it's a body of work from Kahneman, who's been involved in this side of the business for over 30 years, uh, a psychologist, he won the Nobel Prize for Economics, so he's a behavioural economist now, so has chock full examples, chock full of experiments. So it's a real treat, something you can dip in and dip out of. Is it, a, is it something that businesses will pick out of or is it more of a personal development? Well, I remember when we reviewed it before, I mean, absolutely, because it's the psychology of behaviour. So um, business is all about people, uh, people you sell to, people who work for you. So if you understand people better and what makes them tick and what makes them thick, um, then it's, it's probably a good read from that point of view. What's the next one? Yeah, so now, kind of lighter reads on areas that are, are kind of well documented. Um, next one is The Rare Find by George Anders, and this is around the whole area on war for talent, which has been quite well covered in books like The Talent Masters and Workplace 2020. So um, the kind of key messages which would be familiar to anybody in that particular space is that it's saying, look, you can compromise on experience, but don't compromise on character. And it's about doing more research on people as they come in and you do the interview process. So naturally, as you know, don't just take the CV for hard and fact. Um, you've got to do some more research behind it. And also, when you're looking at people, it's it's don't look for good enough, but try to find 
those that could be spectacular. So if you really want to drive your business forward, uh, there's a lot of stuff in there that's familiar to people, but it's a nice read, it's gentle, and it's it's very informative. So a good one, the rare find. Yeah, and I suppose a lot of people would say, look, when we get well, when we have jobs up for grabs, you know, you got people in front of you, you look at their CV, but you think, hmm, do I really know anything about this person? Is, is it really telling me who they are and what they can, what they are capable of for this business? Exactly. And if you know a lot of the recruiters, and you'd have uh, many of them on your show uh, over the year, I mean, they know that. They instinctively know that. That is a lot more than CV, and it's about the character, and it's about the individual, and it's what what makes them uh, tick. So again, chock full of examples on what the FBI do, what you can learn from the army. Um, so anybody involved in the whole HR space, I think will really enjoy it. Now, the next book is very relevant because the story in the papers this morning about Yahoo cutting 2,000 jobs or 14% of its global workforce. And people will think, what do Yahoo de- do these days? And are they, I suppose, a business that was, it's got a business model 10 years out of date and not really relevant. But this book is something that looks at in and around that issue. It is, yeah. Andrew uh, Slywoski, and it's, it's about demand. I find it 